we decided to do uh, Chase X. That's the one? Uh, oh, okay. and we were, and uh, and our other mentor was Miss Roman. Roman, she was there helping us with it also. This is our introduction. They said his name after the. They said it was supposed to be on camera. Huh? They just said it was supposed to be on camera. It's not even shown. Oh, okay. not earlier. Really. Tay-Tex is named after a British ophthalmologist named Warren Tay. Dr. Tay described the patient with cherry red eyes, which is one of the symptoms. Tay-Tex is also named after the new New York neurologist named Bernard Sachs. Dr. Sachs gave the first description of the cellular, cell, cellular change in Tay-Tex disease. Tay-Tex uh, Tay disease. It is a mutation in the hex A gene, which is in the 15th chromosome. Tay-Sex is an uncommon defect that is inherited. It gradually destroys the nerve cells in the brain and in the spinal cord. The most common form of Tay-Sex disease becomes apparent in infancy, and children die of Tay-Sex between the ages of four and five. In Tay-Sex disease, in the Tay-Sex disease, <sighs> the Tay-Sex allele, the nine and twelve nucleotides are altered. The nine through twelve. Uh, instead of the regular amino, instead of the chain TCC TAT, it is altered into TCT ATC. And because of the nucleotide change, the reading frame is also altered. Okay. The hexagene. The hexagene gives the information for making a piece of the enzyme called beta hexosaminidase A. This enzyme plays an important role in helping the brain and spinal cord. It is located in the lysosomes and it helps break down a fatty substance called GM2 ganglioside. Mutations in the hexagene disrupt the activity of the beta hexosaminidase A enzyme. The first notable thing in the in this lysosome picture of the of the lysosomes of the neurons that is affected by Chase X affected by Oh, wait. The lysosomes are larger than, than they are in the healthy neuron. The next thing is that the next thing that is different is the buildup of the GM2 ganglioside. That's right there. Yeah. New place. This is the pattern of inheritance. Tay Sachs is an autosomal recessive, has an autosomal recessive pattern. The parent of the child with an autosomal recessive condition each carry one copy one copy of the mutated gene. The, parent, the parents typically do not show signs and symptoms of Tay-Sex. The symptoms are deafness, blindness, decreased muscle tone, delayed, um, delayed mental and, um, and, and social skills, loss of motor skills, paralysis, seizures, slow growth, and this is the very trip. This is the this is the red well this is the cherry red eye. Um testing. One test is called the um it's called the uh enzyme. It's called the enzyme. Um and it's like um you have to test the blood for the it's for the hexosaminidase levels. Um someone someone was a carrier of TSX, they had half have the normal um, a hexo some they say, and someone who um, someone who has taste hex do not have um, this kind of any uh, hexo. Uh, we can also use amino synthesis to identify the uh, to to identify taste hex disease. This is it right here. Treatment. There's no cure. Or effective treatment for um for it. They're currently testing a drug. It's called BYR to treat to treat the late onset of TSX. BYR is available. Um, since it was used to treat since it was used to treat malaria, currently stem cells from 
the umbilical cord are being used to treat young children. Frequency of tear sacs when in um, when every 27 Jews in the United States are carriers of the mutated gene, one in um, and one in every 50 Irish Americans are carriers, one in one in every 27 people of the Cajun community are carriers, one in 27 French tomato. Canadians are the carriers, one in 250 people of the Jingu population are carriers. Future work, we want to test and verify whether the, um, whether the neural stem cell therapy actually helps cure or like, or, or like tree state sex. We also want to perform extensive research to determine whether the drug called TYR is effective on treating the um, disease, and we also want to conduct a, an experiment reversing or like slowing down the damage to the central nervous system. This is the references. Acknowledgements, we want to um, thank Dr. Brennan, Ms. Roman, Dr. Sad, HC staff, BCC step staff, and you for your questions. before they become specialized to do something, like neurons, their, their nervous system cells. But before they become that, they're stem cells. And stem cells, we don't, uh, adults tend to not have many stem cells. They're very rare, so it's easier to get them from little kids before and we are. And it's also uh, a controversial. Yes, it's a very controversial issue. Uh, I wouldn't say the same thing that um, not a lot of people would agree with it because it comes from the embryo before it's a baby. So if there's a debate on uh, whether technically the baby is alive or not because it's a cell and a cell is alive, but at the same time it's not like a human organism that has feelings. So it's very controversial as to which side is it leans towards. Is it just a bunch of cells or is it a person before they grow? Right, and that's, and that's one of the reasons why different groups um, have different opinions about this. But at the same time, you don't necessarily have to kill um, babies to get stem cells. There is a way that you can get a few stem cells. It's very limited, but um, a few stem cells without actually killing the baby. There's a lot of parents who are starting to save stem cells from their children. I actually had a teacher who does that, did that for a youngest son. It, just in case of accidents or something, they have extra cells. I'm going to watch Lenora. As far as I know, they also say the umbilical cord because it's another source of uh, the umbilical cord. Yeah, and that's the way also without actually like touching the ethnic part of the like problem, you can actually get cells from here. And they're making them to try to make so, it's not going to work. But it's, yeah, it's very complicated. It's very complicated. Uh, I heard that you can make tissues and organs out of stem cells. So, even food, so yeah. <laughs> but you need to have a lot of stem cells for those. Because tissues are made up of a lot of cells. One stem cell can't turn into a big tissue or an organ. <laughs> it's not a single cell, there's a multiple of cells. <laughs> Each one is specific. Yeah, that is good research. But that's why they, they, they're making um, plastic cells and tissues out of stem cells. And that's why they have the organ for the to the cells and image is 4D is not 3D. No, there's actually 3D is by printing of image. It's not on this image. Questions for the bottom one? 
Um, you said that the gene is high in Jewish people. Why is that? <laughs> it's, he's, it's a fact. He just said it. Is there? He didn't say it. No, it's just common. It's, it was just common South areas. Oh, so there's no reason why it's higher. No. Oh.